everyone, it's AG and today I will be sharing with you my first TBR for the Blacklit Challenge. I am so, so excited for this month. It's going to be really busy, but I am so stoked to start reading with all of you. And I just want to thank everyone who has shown so much support over these um, past few weeks. Just seeing your enthusiasm has helped me to really push through some of the harder bits <laughs> because there were a lot of hard bits. So yes, I just wanted to say thank you and that I appreciate it so much. But either way, let's jump into it. So the first thing on my TBR is Victor Laval's Destroyer. This is a comic book inspired by Frankenstein. This follows Frankenstein's monster in 2017. Basically, his only goal has become to um, eliminate the scorch of humanity from the planet. He finds a willing partner in Dr. Baker, a descendant of the Frankenstein family who lost her teenage son through an encounter with the police. Then two scientists, Percy and Brown, are brought in believing that they are actually supposed to protect Dr. Baker from the monster, but quickly they realize that they actually have to protect the world from Dr. Baker and the monster. I actually read The Ballad of Black Tom back in December, which Laval also wrote and really enjoyed it. It was a reimagining of one of the short stories written by H.P. Lovecraft. And so when I found out that he also had a comic, I was like, okay, I need to get this one. I'll also be reading some non-fiction, which is out of my comfort zone. I had this Penguin Modern Classic laying around in my room called Dark Days, written by James Baldwin. The back says, drawing on Baldwin's own experiences of prejudice in an America violently divided by race, these searing essays blend the intensely personal with the political to envisage a better world. I'll also be reading An Image of Africa by Chinua Achebe. This is part of the Penguin Great Ideas series number 100, if anyone was interested. <laughs> This consists of two non-fiction pieces. In the titular text, Achebe asserts his belief that Joseph Conrad is a, quote, bloody racist, and argues that whatever excuses might be made, Heart of Darkness is therefore an unacceptable and deeply damaging book. Joseph Conrad was a Polish-British writer who is considered to be one of the greatest novelists who wrote in the English language. Heart of Darkness is a narrated voyage up the Congo River into the Congo Free State in the heart of Africa. Apparently central to Conrad's work is the idea that there is little difference between quote-unquote civilised people and those described as savages. Heart of Darkness is said to raise questions about racism and imperialism. Now, the amount of knowledge that I have on this topic is this. I know nothing about it. So I'm really excited to read through it, take my time and also do research and hopefully I'll be able to conjure an interesting discussion which we can all participate in. Wow, that sounded really wholesome, but yeah. <laughs> The second text is called The Trouble with Nigeria, which was written at a time of acute crisis in Nigeria's history. And it's said to be a courageous and brilliant example of how Achebe engaged with his country. Then I'll also be reading some poetry, I Am Nobody's Nigger by Dean Atta, and you might know him, at least uh, the UK folks, from The Black Flamingo, which came out, I believe, back in July or August, um, but is coming out this year in the US as well. This is his debut poetry collection, and it explores race, identity and sexuality. Atta also shares his perspective on family, friends, relationships and London life, from riots to one-night stands. Then I also would like to read Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This book is about a boy named Justice McAllister who is at the top of his class and is set for an Ivy League school. However, none of that matters to a police officer who puts him in cuffs. And despite leaving his rough neighbourhood behind, he can't escape the scorn of his former peers and the ridicule of his new classmates. And so Justice looks to the teaching of Dr Martin Luther King, but he himself wonders if they still hold up. And so he starts a journal to Dr King to find out. Then Justice goes driving with his best friend Manny, windows rolled down and music way up. 
Which sparks the fury of a white off-duty cop besides them? Words fly and shots are fired. Justice and Manny find themselves in the crosshairs. And in the media fallout, Justice is the one who finds himself under attack. Then I also would like to read Binti by Nadia Korofo. I started this last year, but for some reason didn't finish it, even though it's only 80 pages. Either way, it's about a girl named Binti who gets accepted to the galaxy's best university. But accepting such an offer means leaving her family behind and traveling through the galaxy in order to get to the university. The only thing is that there is an alien race called the Meduse, which has been described as the stuff of nightmares, which obviously isn't good. But basically her university has wronged the Meduse and so she is caught in a war that wasn't her making. And so she will need the gifts of her people and the knowledge enshrined in the university in order to survive. And that concludes my tentative TBR. I think it's going to take me a couple of days to finish this, but I don't know because I also have exams. So um, we'll see about that. But um, once I've got through it, or at least a substantial part, I will show you um, the other books that I'm hoping to read this month. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.